Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. And this week in my nail art basic series, I'm going to show you how to produce perfect polka dots. Every few weeks, I'll be bringing you one of these videos to help all of you absolute beginners really fight your fears and start playing with some art. After applying your base coat and your colour coat, and if you want full details of all the products, they are down in the description down below. And if you stay tuned to the end, you'll see how to produce the full look of all the other nails. I'm beginning with a gold polish and my large dotting tool, and as you can see, I'm just familiarising myself first on a plastic back pad, dotting a few times to see what sort of amount of polish works best before I'm going in straight into the centre of that nail, and I find it best if once you've picked up the polish on your dotting tool, you dot it once on a pad and then the second time onto your nail. It tends to stop flooding and making all sort of mismatched shapes. All I'm doing here is after starting in the centre of the nail, I'm trying to do absolute equal distances between each dot. And I'm trying to follow that line up the centre of the nail. This helps you be able to produce the rest of the look and make it look really picture perfect. And then going in with the medium dotting tool, and again, I'm putting one dot on the pad before I go back in onto the nail and put a dot to keep your dots consistent and even keep your dotting tool upright at a 90 degree angle from your nail. And as you can see, I'm doing it in line with the previous dots, but where there's a gap, if that makes any sense at all. I find that this is the best way to give a really effective look is start with a strong line down the center of the nail, and then that gives you a template to work from to do your dots up the rest of the nail. If it looks like there's a gap there there shouldn't be, it doesn't matter if there's even a partial dot, just add one in. Then with a fine dotting tool, this isn't a needlepoint dotting tool but it is a fine. This is about a 1.5mm dotting tool, I'm just doing one dot on the pad first before I go straight onto that nail and apply a dot in line. The key is really take your time, don't worry, you don't have to rush these, it's more important it looks neat and tidy. If you want, you can stay with the same size dotting tool. This method applies to all different sizes of dots. It doesn't matter if you're doing a full nail of tiny dots or a full nail of big dots. Once you're happy with the look, allow it to dry. Clean up any mistakes with a brush dipped in nail polish remover or acetone. And as I said, full links to all the products are in the description down below. And then it's time to apply your top coat, which gives me a chance to say to you guys, if any of you want to become a channel VIP, head on over to natashalee.vip, where you'll be able to sign up to get behind the scenes access, you can get rewards, and you can get access to ask me questions and join in with polls. And in the meantime, our look is finished now that our top coat has been cured. And how cute are those? And don't worry if you don't have a dotting tool, there's a link to a video of mine in the top right corner right now that shows you how you can make your own. And now it's time to show you how to achieve the rest of the look. Start by applying your preferred base coat and for this look I am using the Magpie Gel colours including Pretty Polly. Apply a layer of Pretty Polly nice and evenly to the nails and try and get as close to those cuticle areas and the eponychium as possible. Don't forget to cap the ends of the nail and then cure in your lamp. Then I'm going in with an O-Cleanse top coat and applying this to the nail before we're going to cure, but just to say this one is self-leveling. It does look like it's bumpy and gritty when you first apply it, but once you've applied it, if you leave it, and I've sped this up four times for you to see, it self-levels and goes crystal clear and smooth. Then you're going to cure it before taking a silicon tool and some Shelly dust. This is like the unicorn powders. We're going to buff that straight into the top of that nail using the silicon tool. And this is the effect that we use to apply any of our sort of unicorn or fairy dusts. And if you want to make sure it's really smooth and glassy, then the more that you buff, the smoother the effect gets. When you're happy with the final look, apply some top coat to the nail. And this one has glitter in it because I always keep a separate top coat, which I use for my glitters and my dusts. That way it doesn't affect when I want to use it on my regular colours. Now for that glitter finger, once you've applied your gel polish and cured it, it has a sticky inhibition layer. We are just going to pat our glitter into that sticky inhibition layer. And once you're happy with it, you're going to lightly brush over it to smooth it down. Now all gel polishes normally have this sticky inhibition layer once you've cured your colour coat, but some are more sticky than others. 
Using a fan brush, I'm going to lightly brush over the nail to remove any of the excess glitter. Before I'm then going to go in with my top coat again and apply it over the glitter and then cure. Depending on the top coat that you use, you may need to apply two coats over the glitter to make sure you get a lovely glassy shine rather than a textured finish. Then simply cure in your nail lamp and your look is finished. And you can achieve this look entirely using regular polishes. I do have videos that show you how to apply glitter and dust using normal nail polish too. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're finding these videos helpful. I try to produce videos that you guys would want to see and will help and educate you. If there's anything you particularly want to see, please don't forget to leave me a mention in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to hit subscribe and like and I'll see you all again next week.